Look at the rose hip berries. So ripe and nice. Wonderful. It's getting on for autumn now, so they go ripe. Some of them are black by now. Just walking in the countryside here, not far from my home. Lots of them. You could make jam or rosehip tea out of them. I like uh, that teething syrup for babies, that rosehip syrup. It's beautiful on ice cream. It's sweet because they've added sugar, of course, but it's also sour. It has a lovely sour sting in it. It's beautiful on vanilla ice cream. Lovely stuff. You get it in the supermarket in the baby section. Anyway. There's all this vitamin C free in the countryside here, isn't there? Selfie with rose hips. Just cleaning it out. Nice meat on it, but Inside you get all these little sort of, are they called horns or something? Sort of things that will get stuck in your throat. The actual shell is very nice though. What I used to do is clean it out with my fingernail and then give it a blast under a tap or a hose. Can you see all that meat? Oops. There's meat there. Lovely vitamin C rich meat. But the, uh, those seeds those seeds there contain sort of things, well they're not thorns, but they're the sort of things that will get stuck in your throat and you'll be coughing for hours, trying to clear your throat for a couple of hours. Horrible. Lovely meats. Anyway, it's all free vitamin C, isn't it? Michelle. There we have it. The meat's there. These seeds uh, will get stuck in your throat, so you don't want to swallow them at all. You want to make sure there's no, they're hairy. They're sort of hairy. You can see all that hair coming out of them. Those hairs will get stuck in your throat. They're like thorns, sort of like thorns. Sort of like thorns. Horrible but the meat basically part if you can clean it and give it a blast under the tap and make sure there's no thorns on it these seeds have got little thorns it's all fluffy and it'll see I can even feel them pricking in my finger they are sort of thorns you don't want to get them in your throat at all but anyway this is ideal for rosehip tea or rosehip jelly of course if you're making jelly or tea you can always strain it through a sieve or a a strain or a piece of cheesecloth or something to make sure there's no uh, thorns in it. I don't know what they're called, but they're just like a thorn really. And you don't want them in your throat at all. But beautiful vitamin C rich meat there. So, see ya. Yes, I can still feel those thorns in my fingers. They break off just like a cactus or something. I can feel them on my fingers. So you don't want to get them in your throat at all. If you can get that meat off the seed, you can do anything with it. You can make jam, you can make rosehip jelly or rosehip juice or rosehip tea. You can do anything with them. Even just eat them fresh. But you mustn't get those thorns in your throat. You mustn't. They're horrible. See you for now. I'm out on the windy moor. I'm out on the windy moor gathering rose hips. That's what I'm doing. Aren't I? That's what I'm doing.
nature's free vitamin C. All free from nature. It's free. It's completely free and they grow all over the countryside. 